Yeah, what's going on, everybody? I just, I, yo, I was hearing a lot of rumors about dudes clocking in the league, and I really couldn't believe it, you know, especially when it comes to MP Mojo Jojo. So this is the game against him and YF they just played, and nothing, it just seems, like, pretty unbalanced. Like, you know, YF had two turnovers, you know, he had three, like, I, I, I don't know what was going on. I don't, I don't know what was happening, but, you know, YF pulled it out 20 to 10, but this dude had the ball for 17 minutes, though? Like, bro, yo, this, yo, MP5 killed Mojo Joe. Yo, bro, I, I couldn't believe it. The crazy part about it was he didn't even give a fuck, bro. The dude was online just talking about it like everything was all right. Yo, bro, that shit is just not cool. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yo, this dude, he's that scared. But anyway, somebody had asked me to see, the, you know, my roster. So, you know, I'm going to go through it real quick, show you what's going on. You see Terrell Pryor, Vince Young, got AP. Uh, this dude, um, E. Thomas, he's a rookie. Uh, but, I, I, you know, he got, I, what, what do I have? He has a 96 speed. And he has a pretty decent carrying, too. I don't know what it was. What was it? I think it was a, a 95 carrying. So he don't fumble and he's fast. So he fits my criteria, even though I don't run the ball. Whenever I decide to, I want to do fumbling. All right, you got LeRon McClain. I don't use fullbacks. All right, you got you got AK 12-inch. You got Stephen Hill. He's 11-inch. Darius Hill Bay is about a 9-inch. Schilling's 9-inch. All right, this shit is just getting really ridiculous. I don't know the inches of those guys. But, uh, you know, you got, you got Calvin Johnson over there. So it's all good. Uh, the tight end, I use Ricardo Lockett as my tight end, you know what I'm saying, to offset it, offset, you know, dudes playing sag D. I I don't give a fuck about my offensive line, but they're, they're pretty decent, though. Left end, Jabal Sheard, that dude's a monster. Julius Peppers is my starting D tackle. The Dominican Sue backs him up, you know what I'm saying, but I run 4-3, so they always out there. t Sizzle, t Sizzle, you know what I'm saying, so he's out there. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, I'm just joking, bro. Now, Quincy Black is cool. Brendan Young, he, I drafted him as a rookie last year. Uh, the reason I drafted him, he got an 88 speed, um, and pretty much that's it. His hit power is kind of ridiculous, too. I think his hit power is like a 94 or something. Uh, and then Deshaun Blake, this dude, yeah, whatever, bro. He's fast, too, but, you know, he's only a 77. Got Antonio Cromartie, a.k.a. everybody's baby daddy. Uh, Ron Parker. I, yo, what the fuck is he doing there? I don't, yeah, I'm gonna have to go do my death chart over. Why the fuck is he? Oh, because I moved, uh, yeah, Maggot, because he's a fucking bum. All right, so Rogers Cromartie is my start in free safety. And then I got my boy over there, Kurt Coleman, because he could catch, you know, strong safety. And uh, Billy Cundiff, I got him over there, even though he's a fucking bum. He fucked the Ravens over. But he got a 96 kick power, you know what I'm saying? So he could, ba you know, basically make it from anywhere. So that's why he's there. And then, you know, my kick returners, Ed Thomas, because I traded uh, C C2K. So I just put these two dickheads back there, and I see how they work out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Uh... As of this morning, you know, the Madden demo still hasn't come out for PS3 yet, but everybody, all my friends on the Xbox is telling me how fucking nice it is and shit like that. So all my friends on the Xbox, you guys, you guys can go fuck yourself simultaneously in the string and then get fucking towed by a racist KKK member on the street. But anyway, this game is against Clam Hunter. I know you guys seen uh, YF's live streams. Uh, YF played him a couple times uh, in the season as well, but he had a live stream with him uh, maybe like a couple weeks ago. But yeah, he, he's gotten a lot better too. I know you can see him getting sacked for a safety and shit. He's just standing there like everything's going to be all right. But, um, you know, he's gotten a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I can't really hate on a little G. But uh, I wanted to touch on that. Hold on. What was, what was the guy's name? Hold on. Let me just make sure that I got the guy's name right that I'm about to talk about. Yeah, and by the way, uh, I, I started my little Instagram. Uh, for everybody that's, you know, familiar with Instagram, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. But the G Myers World Instagram is available there so you know you guys give me some tips about instagram bro because i don't really you know what i'm saying i'm not really into all these pictures unless it's like you know females with fat asses and shit so maybe i'll put some of those things up on the instagram but um yeah the instagram is there so you guys got to come and show me some love real quick at g myers world but i just wanted to make sure that before i touch on this subject that i got the guy's name right because this guy was way too you know way too happy about everything yeah his name is brian banks and i, I don't what, what team is this guy what was he trying out for was it the Falcons? I think it was the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, apparently, this guy, you know, he, he was a pretty good athlete, you know, but what, like 10 years ago? And he was accused of rape um, by some other woman. I don't, I don't really know all the details of it. You know, I read it like a couple days ago, and I was, you know, I was supposed to talk about it, but I know you guys seen the other videos where Ms. Jemai was here, and she was drunk and just saying anything she wanted to say and shit, so I didn't get to touch on it. But, um, yeah, I believe uh, Brian Banks is his name. You guys can Google him. And let me know if I'm correct or whatever, whatever's going on. You know, people that are already familiar with the story. But 10 years ago, I believe he was uh, accused of rape. And he spent five years in jail. And I think another five years as a registered sex offender for a rape that he didn't do. Um, and he eventually, you know, when he got out of prison, 
the girl that accused him of rape uh, had a meeting with him, and he secretly recorded her, and she admitted that that she lied and shit like that. Like, but then this dude is doing interviews saying that he forgives her. Like, yeah, yo, you know, like it's just certain things that you like. I, I don't know. I, I I'm just gonna come out and just say that he's lying. I know he's trying to be like clean cut to you know make the team or whatever. But if I'm the owner, I gotta worry about that. This dude, he reminds me of oh you want some too. He has to be a psychopath. How do you spend five years in jail for something you didn't do, and then you like I forgive her though? You see what I'm saying? Like it's something like that. You have to have like some kind of yo. It's cr like bro. Like you, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like you know, it's like you got to have some type of human emotion about it. He just seems to be like you know he's saying everything right. To make the team and I don't understand like it just seems pretty cold like he's just like uh yeah you know I forgive her you know people do things like what bro you are a registered sex offender for five years bro you got fucked three times at least in the state penitentiary how are you saying that you know you forgive her I don't I don't, I don't understand and I'm throwing mad picks I don't even know what's going on in this game bro I just, I'm just gonna throw a pick right quick because I don't really give a fuck and also uh clam hunter you know what I'm saying this guy right here he, he you know I think yesterday what was it, a, a couple days ago, or whatever, no, yesterday, I believe, he had a couple disconnects, whatever like that, you know, his connection has been acting up, whatever like that, but, you know, even though I was up by 21 with the ball, you know, the regular season rules is, you're up 21 with the ball, the, the person, you know, autos himself, he autos himself right after that, uh, I chose to play him again, because, you know, Clam, Clam Hunt is a cool guy, you know, he's part of my uh, Call of Duty clan as well, so, you know, I'm like, yo, whatever, but you're gonna see later why I should learn how to follow my own goddamn rules, because, you know, whatever, bro. But, like, getting back to Brian Banks. Okay, so let me get this straight, Coleman. You gonna pick this shit and run it for six? Pick that shit run that shit for six. What the fuck? Yo, listen, who the fuck? Yo, listen, let me see who's calling here right now. Who is that? What the fuck is this? Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. Yo, all right. Because, I, I, yo, I think they already fucking, yo. Oh, my God, bro. And these fucking people, you give a donation. You know what I'm saying? And then they call you a week after you just gave a donation. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. See, that's why, you know, that's why I was trying to tell you guys is certain type of donations and things that I, you know, I'm a part of. And I'm just trying to clean up a lot of the different things that go on with certain things as far as like, uh, you know, donations that take cash for certain researchers as far as like, you know, children with cancer and cancer itself. Because that's something that's pretty dear to my heart, having, you know, family members that's gone through it. And, uh, you know, uh, also that walk, people have been messaging me about that walk September 29th. Listen, I am not going to be selling T-shirts at the walk. Are you guys fucking serious? You think I'm going to go to a fucking uh, a walk for children's cancer and be soliciting out of my fucking trunk? It's not about me. It's about the kids and, 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 and all the stuff that they're going through and them taking this, you know, bio, nuclear, whatever type of fucking medication in 2013 where there should be other types of means. There's no reason for kids to be still dealing with bleomycin, you know what I'm saying? Cisplatinum, VP16, etoposide, like these things with nuclear war agents in World War II. Like, listen... It has to be another way. So, guys, please, I'm not going to be selling anything. I'm just going there for the walk and, and, and putting my donation up. And, I, you know, anybody that's interested in doing that, and, you know, because you don't never know what's going to happen to your siblings or your family members. It's something that you guys should definitely get interested in. And the more people that get involved with it, it'll be harder for everybody to just do whatever the fuck they want to do, just like anything else. Everything's going to slip under the cracks. But if people are aware of what's going on and what's being done with this money, we could come together and figure out a way to stop this shit. It's the worst thing to see, you know, these chills, these children fighting these uh, life-threatening diseases and a guy is outside driving a Bentley and shit, but he's supposed to be, you know, putting putting 90% of it. You know, not-for-profit not for takes 10%, but he's outside with 16 Bentleys. And then he had, you know what I'm saying, an airplane in the parking lot. But but this is his foundation. Like, all right, this is the second disconnect, though. So, Clam Hunter, bro, you know what I'm saying? Right now you're down 35 zip. Like I said, I should have just simply... You know, played the CPU and went, 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 you know, went along with my own rules. But this is the third game. And you guys are going to see what's happening, why I'm so fucking pissed about it. But uh, I'm all over the place today. And that's why you guys know how I do. I'm always on wild tangents. You know, Ms. G. Mai is not lying about that. But today, the Madden, thir the, the Madden 25 demo comes out. Definitely take a look at that for PS3. The Xbox guys already said they have it. I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, reiterate that. And uh, I'm going to get... And, and also, yeah, I will be at the walk. Uh, September 29th. You can hit me up on well, like Facebook and Twitter for more information about it, uh, about the walk. If you want to come out and walk with me, uh, but uh, that, that's another that, that's another story for another day. Okay, but let me see. Brian Banks, bro. 
L listen, if any one of you guys just leave in the comments, especially what's that? What's that dickhead's name? I think it's D Nate Twenty One. That fucking cockbag. That's always. L listen, I just want to know if he, if you were accused of rape, and you were, and you did five years in prison and five years as a sex offender, would you be able to forgive this female? And 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 the reason that I'm bringing this up is because I have a lot of guys that. That you know that are subscribed to me, that you know we, we we talk on Twitter, we talk on Facebook, that are getting ready to go to college, and they play sports, they play football. I had one guy that does wrestling. When you're an athlete, th these females these females are going to be more inclined to give up the pussy. And I'm going to tell you this right now, bro. There's a reason why you know people record things like Fifty Cent. He records sex sessions. I think you know prior to Sierra or whatever. You know, so I don't know what he was doing, but he always says he records it. He has he has people sign paperwork like like females got to sign waivers. And disclaimers for their for, for their vajayjays before they come into his house. There's a reason why people do this, because females don't. A lot of female listen. Females are wild. There's some wild shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like did this female really let this dude go do all that time, and she sued the university for millions. And then I, I think they eventually uh, you know filed a lawsuit against her, and she had to pay back whatever. But just think about that. That's ten years of his life, and now he's trying to make a team. You know. I think he's, what is it? Uh, yeah, the Falcons. I think he's trying to make a team now. He's still going after his dream. And I know it's better late than never, though. But how do you say that you forgive her? It's no way that somebody can logically say that they forgive somebody that does. This is not warranted. She said that he dragged her behind some kind of alleyway and fucked the shit out of her. Like, and it's like, it seems like a good scene for a porn. And, and you know, at first, I, I, you know, I, I didn't know what was happening. I just, did he catch that? Yeah, good shit, bro. Like the way she, the way it was, the way that I read it and the way it was described, it's like, yo, this shit is like a real highly intense porn. But then this man went away for all this time for it. This shit is just crazy. So you know, my thing is for you know for for, for the younger guys that's getting ready to go to school, you guys got to be careful with this shit. You know, it's a lot of times that you know in college where females get you know trains run on them and you got to bring your ticket. You know what I'm saying? And these females will turn around. You see, you see what happened to Mister Cal or whatever his name is, however it's pronounced. However, that ignoramus his name is pronounced. Uh, he was just there for the train. I don't even know if he out, did he get any pussy. I don't know. Maybe you guys tell me in the comments. Did Mystical get any pussy from that from that um that rape that he was accused of? Because these, these these guys don't have any reason to rape anyone. But lawyers will get the case against you. It doesn't matter. That's what their job is. Lawyers, law that that people don't understand. So that's why people, defense attorneys and people that do these type of things, it's a reason why they're good at what they do. They know the cracks and crevices of the law. So you guys have to be very careful with that. Because I'm not even sure. Did Mr. Cole, did he did he did he get any pussy from? Uh, uh, that'd be kind of fucked up if he went to jail for pussy he didn't get. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really do the research because you know it was just another black African American Negro behind bars, and uh, and one one out of three of them. A locked up doing time, so you know it wasn't really fascinating to me at the time. But it, it's just you, you guys got to be careful. And females, you know, my, my I got like fucking I think like five five point six percent or up to six percent female viewers. You guys got you guys got to just you know just look, man. You don't give the pussy up. Like stop 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 doing false claims. You don't give the pussy up. Give the pussy up. And then you got you got oh look oh shit Calvin Johnson no Let's do injure Calvin Johnson bro. He better be back before I gotta play YF. But that's another story. I had to pick him right off out of anger and shit. But yeah, listen, females, if you're going to give the pussy up, the mouth, all that shit, the asshole, all that kind of thing like that, like you can't then go to the lawyer with a cum stain on your back and be like, yo, he raped me though. You know what I'm saying? Like females, you know, I, I, would, you know, I want my female, female uh, listeners and uh, viewers to leave a comment. Like you, you guys cannot take a full-blown nuts, like a nut load on your neck and then say he raped you in the mouth. Like you, you have teeth. How are you getting raped in the mouth? I, I don't understand that. Like th these claims are just so frivolous and ridiculous, and somehow, some way, you know, it still goes on. So, you know, m I have a lot of respect for Brian Banks, but I don't believe him. I don't believe that he forgives her, and um, it it's just impossible for me to uh, to understand how you just have no malice. It doesn't make any sense. You're walking around, you're taking showers with big diesel guys. You know, you got Bubba in there. He got a 19 inch dick. Like I know he had to try. He, he, something had to happen in there. They tried, you know, for crying. They tried to rape Mike Tyson for crying out loud. They had to try to fuck this guy, you know what I'm saying? Or he, they or probably got fucked. But that's another story, man. Definitely check out the Madden demo to be out today for PS3 users. Uh, I'll see if I can get another video up today if I play the demo. And other than that, man, yo, female, stop doing false claims. Until next time, one love.